All right, Virgo, what's up? Welcome to Virgo Bright Tarot. Oh, Virgo, all the time, your very own Virgo channel. Yes, Virgo. We want to see who is obsessed with you, Virgo. Who is obsessed with you? I want to know who has an obsession with you. Like, when I say obsession, I mean they think about you all the time. They may not say anything. They may not do anything. But they're thinking they are obsessed with you, my dear Virgo. Now, when I say obsession, I do not mean like um, this person's like outside your window with a mask on. And, you know, I mean, if it's that dangerous, I'm sure spirit will tell us. But that ain't really what I'm talking about. So spirit, we want to know who's obsessed with Virgo um, because they could be obsessed for a good reason, a bad reason. I don't know, you know. Alright, so God's here. We are asking, who is obsessed with Virgo? Who has an obsession with the Virgo Collective? Who is constantly thinking about... Do, they do things with you in mind. They go to social media and they post things, hoping you'll see it. And they wear certain things because of you. Or they make certain moves because of you, right? So, who's obsessed with Virgo? Who's obsessed with Virgo? God spirit. Who has an obsession with Virgo? Okay, we got constellation energy. So, you've got you got this in yesterday's reading, I think. It could be someone who is sorry, someone who wants to apologize. Could be someone who is praying about you or talking to to their, their angels or or God about you okay who's obsessed with Virgo okay we have the house somebody is obsessed with you it could be someone that lives in your neighborhood uh -huh, like a neighbor okay or it could be it could be somebody that lives in your house Ooh, creepy all right we have the journey okay so maybe this is someone that you met or will meet online or on a trip or this could be someone who um travels for a living reunion is at the bottom of the deck all right reunion is at the bottom of the deck let's get some more get a couple of these okay who's obsessed with virgo who has an obsession with virgo who is obsessed with virgo should we just start with these three i think we should because i don't want to confuse the reading because I, I tend to do that sometimes i get a little a little overzealous let's see all right let's see tell me about consolation please spirit why is consolation here console someone wants to be consoled all right consolation this is the strength energy this is leo energy let's see Tell me about the house. I'm going to clarify with a different deck. The two of wands. Hmm. And the journey. The journey, the journey, the journey. Nine of pentacles. That's your energy. So, so far you've got Leo, you've got Virgo, you've got the tower, Scorpio energy at the bottom of the deck. All right, let's see. Let's clarify these. Tell me about consolation and the strength. So it could be someone who really wants to take a leap of faith towards you. Like they want to, they may want to apologize to you, but they're holding themselves back. So that strength energy could, could be a Leo. We got Aries energy here. Some people call, say this is Aquarius as well, but they're not saying anything to you. If they do want to apologize to you, they definitely are holding themselves back, but they still have an obsession with you. We have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck, so you definitely could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Let's see the House and the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands again. Spirit said, "I said what I said." Okay, so the Two of Wands. It can be an energy of travel. It also could be an energy of someone making a decision, right? Um, about the future, usually. Hmm. Give me. I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm gonna need another one for the two of wands because I need to know what. Why the two of wands? Like what? What is it? Ooh. Okay. 
So the decision, it could be to offer you a love offer. So this person, it could be new love. It could, it could be more like a crush that's obsessed with you um, for some of you. Now, why is the house significant? I don't know. Maybe this person lives in your neighborhood or something like that. Like I mentioned, let's see. Let's see this journey and the nine of pentacles. Whoa, somebody is obsessed with you. Definitely. Hmm. Now, this could be like a metaphoric journey, Virgo, where it's like we've been through a lot together, been through a lot of, you know, good times and bad times together or whatever, even if it's just a friend. But they definitely have an obsess obsession with you. What is the significance of the journey? Okay, we have the Hierophant. Maybe you were married to this person, Taurus energy. Um, I don't know. Maybe this person is going through a spiritual journey. Maybe there, maybe it was some sort of like spiritual retreat or something you could have met this person on. Yeah, definitely some of you could have met this person like on vacation or something. Because the Four of Swords can be like a, a rest and relaxation energy, vacation type energy. Okay, let's get some more on this see what this is all about let's see tell me about consolation this person wanting to be consoled okay so what came out was concern and thought so this person is like really sweating you I don't know if people say that anymore but people th this this person is sweating you like they're they're concerned they're worried about what you're doing who you with they're thinking about you all the time constantly this person is thinking about you this person is thinking about you constantly constantly okay let's see tell me about the house energy tell me why the house the house card is here spirits all right and we have poverty hmm so did this person could it, this person have like lost their home and they had to move or you had to move someone could have went through a hard time or something like that or it could be this person feeling left out in the cold because the poverty energy can be um someone feeling left out in the cold now did you have to put somebody out the house <laughs> that could be it it could be that somebody was put out the house because look what I got at the bottom of the deck. It says marriage. So it's possible that this is somebody you put out the house or you left and now this person is feeling left out in the cold. Okay, tell me why journey is here. We will clarify all of these to get more understanding. Okay, judication. Definitely some of y'all, this is like an ex-husband or, or ex-wife, okay? Definitely could be for some of y'all, this is an ex-husband or ex-wife that has a little obsession with you here okay so let's see why concern is here okay we have the page of wands all right so could you have friendly conversation with this person yeah you could it could be that you are friends with this person you don't have to this person don't have to be your enemy ten of cups is at the bottom of the deck all right definitely could be like a, a someone you were in a relationship with Okay, it doesn't have to be a husband or wife, but someone you were in a commitment with. We got fire energy, Capricorn, Taurus, what I say, Aquarius, Aries, um, Virgo, and Leo. Now Sag and Aries again here as well. Um, this person may be reaching out to you soon or they may have reached out to you recently just to ask how you're doing. They, this person wants to know how you're doing. We'll, we'll clarify the page of wands, but it's usually some sort of message coming in. Let's see what this thought, the thoughts is here. Yeah, I, I said either the eight or the nine of swords is going to come out. And the nine of swords came out. So this person is thinking about you day and night. You see, he's working. He's got his paintbrush down here. I don't know if y'all can see it because I know it's, he's got his paintbrush down there. He probably supposed to be working and, 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 and all of that. And look what he's drawing. He's drawing her and he's thinking about her. This is thoughts. She's constantly in his thoughts. He probably supposed to be drawing something for work, you know, or doing some some book report or something. He's drawing pictures of you and thinking about you and writing your name, doodling your name. 
okay he or she excuse me he or she men or women okay let's see poverty let's see why poverty is here yeah the five of cups this is feeling this is this person feeling down this person is feeling like regret about something okay we'll see we'll we'll, we'll clarify it and see what that is okay and why is adjudication here adjudication okay so we have the four swords and remember we talked about that with the journey that there could have been some sort of vacation or something but the adjudication if it's not a court case or something it's about a choice okay you see this judge here is, is like mediating or choosing between the two of them okay so let's let's get some let's get some clarification on these so tell me about this page of wands in the concern energy Okay, we have the seven of cups. This person could be obsessed that you, I mean, concerned that you have other options. Okay, let's see. Seven of cups, the nine of pentacles. Yeah, that you're living single, that you are um, available. So if this person reaches out to you and you're like wondering, why does he, he or she keep just calling me randomly talking about nothing? Like, just making small talk is it because this person is trying to keep tabs on you okay let's see what the thoughts and the nine of swords is all right so we have the king of wands i'm sorry the knight of wands that is leo sag aries energy and we have the three of swords yeah this person again like i said I feel like if they if you do speak with this person, it's kind of in and out conversation. All right. They don't they they don't want us to show their hand. They don't want to show that there there is an obsession, but they can't help but but have some sort of contact with you or keep up with you somehow. Maybe they're watching you online, whatever. All right. Leo Sag Aries energy here. This could be an ex who broke your heart or, you know, maybe their heart was broken. Okay, um, for some of you, I just heard a message that said in the beginning, they broke your heart and you probably felt like you'd never get over it. And now you're living your best life here with this nine of pentacles energy. And now it's this person's turn to go through that, that energy. And that person is getting it worse than you ever got it because we see this person in five of cups energy and deep regret here. Let's see five of cups. Yeah, because of something from the past someone from your past that's that feels like they really lost out and now they're really really hurt okay this is the wounded warrior energy that nine of wands all right let's see we got adjudication and the four of swords let's see because the four of swords is also someone thinking that she's not asleep she's thinking all right she's she's in contemplation all right so we have the king of wands <clears throat> leo sag aries energy clarify the king of wands and we have the seven of wands okay so this person may be thinking that they should have fought harder or um they may want to come and defend themselves or fight for the connection or something like that so let's see what does this person desire um with virgo what is their desire with virgo now for some of you if this is just like a friend like a like a, a same sex friend that you know and you know this is nothing lovey dovey then just take it that way okay all right what do they desire with virgo what do they desire from virgo what's this person desire from virgo okay so we have falseness we'll see why that's here came out for a reason so we'll take a look at it what do they desire from virgo okay we have young woman okay so maybe there was a way that you treated this person when you guys were younger or last year or a few years ago or this could have something to do with a daughter or something like that i don't know i don't know what does this person desire from virgo okay we have fortune okay so hopefully they ain't trying to ask for no money because <laughs> i'm gonna answer for you virgo the answer is no no you gets none all right so let's see what this is all about why is falseness a desire from this person okay we have hangman energy okay let me go ahead and get young woman
four of cups. Ah, and the fortune energy. I'm going to clarify, but I'm already making assumptions in my mind. We got the devil energy. Ooh. Now, she look like she's stripping kind of, so I don't know if this person wants you on a pole or something. So, the ace of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what this hangman energy is. What is this hangman energy? The ten of swords. Okay. So, with the hangman being about a different perspective, there's something this person did. They lied. They cheated. They did something. And I feel like this person... Um, wants you to either this person either wants you to see things at a different perspective or this person wants to to have a different perspective about you or what could be if they were in a connection with you because i feel like this ten of swords could be this person's fear all right let me let me get another one for the ten of swords it could be a lot of things page of swords so it could be that this person wants you to change your perspective about them Okay, with the King of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. All right, this person, um, they, they, they could want you to observe them and see, hey, I'm not as bad as you think I am. I'm not as bad as I used to be or whatever. Again, it could be vice versa as well. Okay, let's see why the Four of Cups and the Sweetheart is here. I'm sorry, not the Sweetheart, the Young Woman. Young Woman and Four of Cups. Okay, we have the Star, Aquarius Energy. And we have the sun, Leo energy. So I feel like in the past, okay, that this person rejected you. Mm -hmm. For some of you, in one way or the other, this person could have rejected you. All right. Now, if you rejected them, that would stand a reason why they want you to see them differently. Okay. But um, I feel like this person see, has had some sort of illumination now. Okay. Let's see why the devil is here. Clarify the devil. Clarify the devil. Okay, so we have the moon. So we do see that this person is obsessing over you secretly. Okay. They're keeping their emotions under wrap. But the fortune energy, I feel like this person could see you as very valuable. They may not treat you that way. They may not say that. But I feel like this person could see you as very valuable. Okay. The moon. The six of pentacles is here as well. Now, this person also could be thinking about their own finances and have some negative energy about... Um, having to be a provider for you or not being able to or not making enough money to match your status or whatever that could be a thing for this person all right you know it is what it is all right all right all right all right so let's get a let's get a playing card spread before we get any more of those cards okay the person this person obsessed with virgo this person obsessed with Virgo because we want to see are they gonna do anything about the obsession or are they just gonna you just gonna stand there and look I just accidentally turned over all these cards hold on one second are you just gonna stand there and stare at my my Facebook page and my Instagram you just gonna look at my booty when I walk away or what <laughs> are you gonna say something or what all right the person obsessed with Virgo show me show me show me more about this person's energy and obsession with Virgo. Tell me more. Tell me more. Okay. They do have emotion, emotions for you. Some of you, this person could be younger than you. They could be younger than you for some of you. Ooh, they all up in their head about having a partnership with you. About having a relationship with you. Okay. Yes, they are. They're all up in their head about it. For some of you, they're trying to think of a gift to buy you. They're trying to think of a gift, a gift to get you. Yeah, some of them are trying to think of a gift to get you. They want a change for the better here. They want commitment. This person does. Okay, this person has a lot of positive hope 
when it comes to you could be a water sign a pisces cancer scorpio someone younger or someone very optimistic in love could be someone with light features blue green hazel eyes light skin light hair for some of you but this person is all up in their head about you with the eight of spades show me more Yeah, money is a big thing to this person. Money or fi finances is a is a is a um is a thing for this person. This person is hoping that their situation will improve. Okay, there's some minor delays with this person's finances or about their their plan coming towards you. I feel like this person planned on buying you a gift, but maybe they had a um um like a back step or a misstep or something with their finances it could be and so mm, things to this person with this eight of, of clubs are worse than they they seem worse than they actually are they're not as bad as this person is making it but they are trying to be very cautious right they're trying to be very cautious because they don't want any kind of interruptions hiccups flare-ups whatever um, but they do hope for the best with you. This person does have positive energy when it comes to you. Does not seem like this person is is obsessed with you to to do you harm. Okay, I haven't seen that yet, so hopefully we don't see that. But we have the seven of diamonds, um, which is yes, an unexpected loss at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person was coming towards you with an offer or even with like a gift or something like that and something happened with this person so i do think this person's finances is a big deal you even have the ace of pentacles at the bottom of this deck so something happened with this person's finances that kind of gave them a little setback and so they may feel like they don't they don't they can't come towards you right now all right but let's look at this person's actions towards you in the near future person that's obsessed with virgo person that's obsessed with virgo Okay, so we have old woman. We'll see why that's there. Maybe it is an older woman or an older man. Okay, could be. Definitely could be. There is no old man in this deck. <sighs> There's no old man in this in this particular deck. So it could be either one. Now we have enemy. So we'll we'll take a look and see what that's about. Oh, I don't like the way that came out. This person's next actions toward. Virgo okay so we have the widower we'll see what that's about that could represent a lot of things so don't think this person is going <laughs> going to come and unalive you or nothing like that all right so we have love at the bottom of the deck so let's see okay so why is older woman here why is older woman here all right so we have the moon maybe you are older than this person okay the moon the six of cups there's something about the past here the six of cups and the ten of cups okay so this person may have mama or daddy issues or something like that that they are trying to take care of okay they may talk to you about that I don't know all right tell me why the enemy the enemy energy is here okay we have the two of cups we have the King of Swords. Ooh. And we have the Knight of Cups. Okay. So this person is coming towards you. The only thing I the only thing I feel like with the Two of Cups and the enemy, the only the only explanation to me is that this person has an issue with anybody else, somebody else that you may be in a relationship with. Okay? This person is bringing you a romantic offer. Okay? But they feel like somebody might be in the way. Okay, they have an issue with a, a maybe a current connection you're with in or an ex that you you were with. Let's see why the widower is here. This person's next actions. So we have the Knight of Swords. That can be kind of an angry energy, but it also is kind of just impulsive. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Right, so the temperance, it, I think it landed in reverse. I think it landed in reverse. Okay, and we have the hermit. 
Okay, that's you. And then we have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So what I feel like is if this person finished up another connection, relationship, whatever, um, they're rushing towards you. They don't want to wait anymore. So the temperance energy is in reverse, okay? No more waiting. They're tired of being patient is what I'm feeling. They want a new beginning with you is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, because the higher fin is here as well. Yeah. This person's like, and yeah, that's the Knight of Pentacles, but I feel like it's because it's showing that this person took a long time to come towards you. So I feel like this person will eventually say something to you. I do feel like this person will say something to you. All right, so let's see. Mm, these cards are kind of negative, so I don't want to, I don't think I want to bring these out. Mm, no, we're not going to bring those out because those could be those could make it really weird that could make the reading really weird but we are going to get some who cards and see maybe who this person is maybe get some words from this person something like that let's see where are those little who cards three 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 on the clock all right okay let's see who, how you might know who this person is uh, spirit how might virgo know who this but well you know what i want to do these first i want to do these first how might virgo know who how will virgo know who this person is how will virgo know who this person is okay we have stress um yeah, so I don't know. This person may look disheveled, like they don't get enough sleep. Now, they don't have to be stressed necessarily over you, but they could just be going through a lot of stress in life right now. And if they did lose their job or house or something, that definitely could be a thing. All right, so we have right, ceremony, mystery, magic. You may have wondered if this person dabbles in something, okay? Uh, maybe they do. Maybe you do know them to to do that. Maybe um, you guys are into the same type of spirituality or whatever for some of you. Others of you. I don't know. We have real estate. So there is something about a house here. Maybe they're a real estate agent. Um, could be. We have evidence. So maybe you're going to find some evidence. Yeah, some proof that this person um is obsessed with you you may you may you may now this person is collecting something into an evidence bag so hopefully this isn't the type of obsession where they're like keeping you know locks of your hair <laughs> and stuff like that because that would be disgusting all right let's see Okay, we have apology. So this person may owe you an apology. They may come and give you an apology. First thing we had was that consolation card. Okay, so we have disturbance, obscure, irritation, supernatural. I don't know. This energy I don't know, looks zombie-like to me. I don't know. Maybe this person has behaved, acted like you irritated them at, at some point, but it just seems like there's a a weird connection between the two of you that you can't you can't explain okay and we have fate okay coincidence fatalism fortune telling um so perhaps this person is getting readings on you or you've had readings on this person if you've had readings on this person maybe this person is actually obsessed with you well do they like me maybe you ask the person do they how do they feel about me okay so we have two, we have overload and we have robbery here as well. Now, hopefully they're not in, a, in the life of crime, but um, something could have, they could have been robbed or something could have been stolen from them and they could definitely be like overloaded, busy with work or life here, okay, as well. Um, so I don't know why robbery is there. Hopefully they, they didn't rob you. Hopefully they didn't come to rob you. Um, natural disasters at the bottom of the deck so they could be someone who's been through something like that I don't know a tsunami a hurricane um, a, f a flood earthquake whatever hailstorm windstorm some sort of natural disaster could could have affected them at some point okay so let's see how does Virgo know who this person is 
this person that is obsessed with them or these people maybe y'all got more than one maybe y'all got more than one. Oh, did i say these signs um pisces cancer libra gemini aquarius pisces cancer scorpio virgo sagittarius and whatever that was okay pisces cancer scorpio right no libra gemini aquarius okay all right how does virgo know who this person is okay we have a mature man see i told you it's not just the old woman it could be an older man as well or a mature man we have freedom casual being single lightness so maybe this person is single right now or they try to act like they are the 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 bachelor of the uh past love in the past or past lover so it could be someone you had a one night stand with in the past okay so there could be a password. Then we have gift. Yeah, so I did see where this person may be giving you a gift or thinking of a gift for you, buying a gift for you. Could be jewelry. True gem is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. How does Virgo know who this person is? All right. Understand that all your, all the descriptions that could be will not all come out in these cards because... I mean, that would take forever. And I, I frankly don't have enough cards for that. So how will pers how will Virgo know who this person is that's obsessed with them? How does Virgo know who this person is that's obsessed with Virgo? Two, three. Okay. The bottom of the deck says they're self-absorbed so they could be someone who comes off as very arrogant all right <clears throat> you have fair or light features okay so that could be for some of you they could definitely have gray hair even if they're dark skinned okay vanity yeah self-absorbed vanity this person could seem like they're very arrogant okay we have sophisticated so maybe they're a snazzy dresser maybe they know how to act in public okay now we have financially stable so if this person was having financial trouble they may be now financially stable okay um if they were never in financial trouble just money could just be a thing for this person like they just constantly think about it or whatever and they could overspend okay they could overspend um because they make it you know instead of saving it they just burns a hole in their pocket cultural differences for some of you we have a work relationship for others of you okay all right, so last but not least, let's see. We're going to get some who cards. Remember, we might get, this could describe the season, a sign in their chart, or their Chinese zodiac, or significant year. All right? Okay, how will Virgo know who this person is? Person or people? Seven, eight. All right. Let's see. I don't think I got the right number of. Yeah, I think I did. Okay. So Leo's at the bottom of the deck. Never surprised to see Leo come out anywhere in your uh, your readings. All right. So one thing I noticed is that we have both false flame and twin flame. Okay. So it could be one of each. Okay, or it could be someone that you've gone back and forth with. Like, is that my twin flame? I don't know. Is it? I don't know. They could be a karmic. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I want to get a couple more too. So there's not enough zodiacs out. However, go know who this person is that's obsessed with them. All right. Okay. 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 Now it says coming in as a partner or companion at the bar bottom of the deck you have the year of the dog in the chinese zodiac that's 1946 58 70 82 94 2006 2018 2030 you have long term so when they come in maybe this person will want something long term maybe you were in something long term with this person all right we have pisces um 
coming out here Pisces in the chart or Pisces season could be significant Libra Libra in the chart or Libra season could be significant Aries Aries in the chart or Aries season could be significant Scorpio or Scorpio in the chart could be significant or Scorpio season could be significant we have a new connection okay so for some of you this is someone that you don't necessarily have a pass with this could be an admirer because remember I told you, you definitely could have a secret admirer some of you have more than one person you have coming in to nurture and support and then you have soulmate here as well so I think for a lot of you that false twin twin flame back and forth energy is going to maybe um resonate okay like hmm did I just think that person was my twin flame but they really were a karmic and da, 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 you know all of that all right Virgo I just saw 35 35 on the clock I'm kind of staring at this deck right here wanting to get some more okay I'm just going to get these last ones and then we're going to be done <laughs> we're going to be done all right how will Virgo know who this person is or what do you want to say out of this deck about the person that is um obsessed with Virgo yeah, holding back. I knew that was going to come out. This person is holding back for now. We did see that in your regular reading on Bright Light Tarot. Okay, and so now they're having second thoughts. They're going to maybe deciding to come towards you instead of just st staying behind because it feels right. It feels right to this person that they should come towards you because they, they're realizing with the real feelings energy here that their feelings are real see the fluttering heart here at the bottom of the deck i knew there was a reason why i used this deck i feel like when you come around this person gets butterflies and i feel like this person tried to convince themselves that it's just like um it's fleeting you know what i mean like oh that's just so i think that she or he is is good looking and and that's it it'll pass but what this person is realizing is that they like you and they want you <laughs> <laughs> right that their feelings are real okay anywho okay now i'm gonna leave it here remember that when there is an extended or collective it's free done over on rumble bright light 444 go over there like and subscribe if you need a personal reading reach out to me at the email in the description you also have a daily reading over at bright light tarot that link is in the description so go over there check that out and make sure you hit the bell notification and the like button you want to know when i go live and upload new content virgo all right, that's we're going to leave it here. Light and love to you. Bye-bye.